what's good youtube how's everyone doing welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another reaction video if you're new here for the first time my name is tmr and since you clicked on this video you might as well subscribe to this youtube channel and please make sure you click the notification bell and make sure you give me a big thumbs up and also leave your comments down below what's good to youtube what's good tmr gang welcome back to the channel y'all welcome back to another reaction video i'm your girl tmr and you have just clicked on the car chronicles where we get in this car y'all and we run our got damn miles okay about any and everything and before we get started Okay, I would just want to take just a few minutes to talk to my sis, talk to my subscribers, a viewer. If you just clicked on this video for the first time, y'all know normally when we do these videos, these car chronicles, you know, TMR gets right to the point. Okay, I, I don't, I don't make y'all wait too long, but I need you guys to give me just a few minutes of your time. Okay, all right, y'all. So today is going to be something different. Okay, it's going to be something I'm going to be doing more frequently. Okay, we are going to do a story time today. Now, you guys, I know a lot of you subscribe to my channel for the reactions on the three moms. And I am here to tell you that we're not going to stop that over here. Okay, when there's something to talk about, we most definitely will talk about it. Okay, but for you guys who've been following me since I've been on YouTube, y'all know I just don't. I don't just talk about any and everything that goes on with these ladies. A lot of times what I discuss is something that I, I'm feeling some type of way about or it piques my interest. Now, Jasmine tried on a new pixie wig since I don't have conversation for that. You know, me personally, I thought the wig was really cute, okay? It's something different for her. I, it was cute on her, but I think the long ombre wig is cuter on her okay but i'm i'm not gonna waste y'all time 10 15 20 minutes talking about a wig i'm just not so you guys what i you know this this community of reactions is, is getting oversaturated right and i know a lot of you guys got your favorite type of reactors when you want to just sit and listen to people's thoughts and opinions or you want to get the tea or whatever you know you go to whomever you want to go to but for primarily Y'all pretty much follow the same people when it comes to reactions. And and I get that. I don't have no problems with that, okay? You can watch whomever you want to watch. As long as you come over here and kick it with TMR, TMR don't have any problems with that. T TMR is not possessive, okay? I'm not possessive at all. But, you guys, I just, you know, there's, I just want to be who I am when it comes to reaction videos. You guys know my style of commentary. I don't have to explain it. If you've been watching me, you know, if you're new for the first time, go back and watch some of my videos. If you watch the three moms or if you've never watched them and you want to see what this is all about, go ahead and do that. A lot of people also state, you know, I've heard a lot of conversation where you guys talk about these women so much they think they're famous. But what they do have is a very large following on two, YouTube. They also have a following, pretty pretty large following on social media, Instagram, Facebook, wherever. So, you know, we watch these channels. We watch them on YouTube. Like I told you guys before, it's like a reality TV show to me. And it's just, but these women are portraying themselves, starring themselves. They put a lot of different things out about themselves. Some may be real, some may be not. But however, whatever, when they put it out, some of us want to discuss it and talk about it. So I just want to let you guys know that there are going to be some little changes over here. And I feel like I need to let y'all know that because, you know, every time you click on the video, you're like, wait a minute, TMR, what, since what, we, since what we doing today? What are we talking about today? Team, I just want to let you know that we're going to incorporate some story times because I think those are fun and interesting. I do watch YouTubers that do story times and I find them very interesting. I get into them. So I'm hoping you guys will like somewhat of a change over here on TMR. Um, you guys, I just, I feel like I need to do more. You know, I've been talking, I've been talking about these ladies for quite some time, over two years and some of the information you guys is kind of redundant and recycled. You know what I mean? Like you can only say, um, Jasmine, you're not 
the best mom so many times, you know, and I'm not saying she's not, I'm just saying, you can only say that live, you know, whatever, you can only say so much about her, you can only say so much, like, you could only say so much, so you guys, when it, when, when something comes up and we need to come talk about it, we'll definitely get on this camera and discuss it. And I'll definitely always join you guys down below. But I just wanted to let you guys know that that's going to be happening. I hope you guys are not offended. I hope you don't unsubscribe because of that. But if you do, I, I you know, TMR is not mad at you. I mean, you are you have the right to subscribe and watch whatever you want to on social media. But I just want to let you guys know because I really love the support you guys give me on here. And I hope you guys continue to support me as I grow on YouTube. Okay? All right, you guys. Thank you so much. So now, let's get on with this video. Okay, you guys. Now, this story is about Walmart. A um, few years ago, I was working at Walmart. Y'all, when I say few years ago, this was really a long time ago. It's when my kids were little. I got a job at Walmart part-time for the holidays, okay? Y'all know how it is. Uh, some of us, you know, you got to get that little extra coin together, okay? Because Christmas comes at a horrible time. It, you know, you got to pay bills, and then just the holiday, you spend an extra on food and gifts and just extra things going on in the house. So I picked up a part-time job at Walmart. So therefore I could have extra money to make sure my kids had a good Christmas. Well, because it was a seasonal position, I believe it started in like, I think I got hired in like October. Okay. And I worked all the way up until January or February? Y'all, it's been a long time. I don't remember, but I think it, I worked up until like February because, you know, the holiday is busy. And then after the holiday, after Christmas, then people are returning stuff. And so, and then they're doing inventory, the beginning of the year inventory. So, the, you know, I stayed on for that. Well, as I was working there, you guys, I was working as a cashier. Okay. So I was working as a cashier and y'all, that was fine. Yeah, You know, working as a cashier, it, it takes a unique person to be a cashier. Trust me. Shout out to all my cashiers who out there because you guys are truly the MVP because baby, people are super goofy, okay? They're super goofy, especially when it comes to shopping. People act like they've never been shopping any before and they go into the stores with these attitudes and I'll be like, sis, sis, I didn't tell you to bring all your damn screaming ass kids to the store, but in T-Way, y'all. So I was working as a cashier. So after I worked as a cashier for a while, they trained me to work on the customer service desk. So I was like, I thought, okay, well, customer service, although customer service desk has a lot of traffic too, but I felt like it wouldn't be as bad as, you know, working the register because a lot of times people going up there to return things, buy a money order, pay a bill, whatever, whatever. And when I worked at Walmart, y'all, it was, they they didn't have the return policy that they have now. You know, now when you go to return something at Walmart, child, you need your ID, fingerprint, blood sample. Yeah, uh, Walmart's not playing, okay? And if you put your ID in there and you return stuff, I think it's more than three times in 30 days or something weird. They, they flagging you, you know, they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Since you didn't been returning stuff three different times in one month. So yeah, Walmart's return policy is very strict now. And I really feel like once I tell y'all this story, I, I get it. I so understand. working at Walmart during the holidays, as you know, if you don't know, if you know, just by shopping during the holiday is hella hectic in the damn store so this particular day you guys um the csm wanted me to work customer service so i was like okay good customer service will work that's no problem so obviously right after christmas this was just a few days after christmas everybody was returning gifts and things of that nature so i was like well you know it's gonna be hella busy up there and needless to say it was y'all the line was all the way down the damn aisle where it was horrible but it was like I think it was three of us that was working up there that day. So, you know, the line was moving pretty fast or whatever. You know, it was a little slowed down when people would have situations about their returns. But when I worked there, you guys, you could return anything. Like, it didn't matter. You could have bought it four years ago, okay? And if you brought it to Walmart and just like, um, yeah, four years later, I decided, yeah, I don't want this anymore. Y'all, they was returning 
shirts that had been washed 1,700 times. Y'all, it was horrible, but Walmart had a policy where they let you return so, anything. a couple days after Christmas, I'm at customer service. I'm taking care of people. I'm returning stuff that people didn't want, all right? So this particular woman walks up to the counter. So I had my head down, and I look up, and it was a Caucasian woman. Yeah, probably, mm, I don't know, maybe mid-30s. She was like, um, yes, I have a package um, that I got for Christmas, and I decided I don't want them anymore. So I'm like, okay, you know. Again, you guys, no discussion, because back then, you, you, it didn't matter. So she hands me this bag. Well, she had it tied up like this, y'all, little Walmart bag. She had it tied up like this. It wasn't a tight knot. It was probably like this. And it was on the counter, and she just slid it across the counter. So then you didn't have to ask for ID. I just needed to know the reason why she was returning. So I picked the bag up and was getting ready to open the bag. And as I was getting ready to open the bag, I says to her, Ma'am, can you tell me what was wrong? Um, yeah, I just, they didn't fit. I didn't like the way they looked on me. Now, rem remind you guys, when she say looked on me, I don't know what she's talking about. It could be a shirt, a pair of pants, it, whatever. I didn't know. So I said, okay, ma'am. I take the bag and I open it up. And as I open it up like this, an aroma came up out the bag like the it and went up my nostrils and I said oh my god to myself y'all had this look like so I said um ma'am because y'all was not about to put my hands in that daggone bag uh ma'am would you mind taking it out the bag for me please she said uh you can't do it yourself? No, ma'am. Can you take it out the bag for me, please? So she proceeded to take it out the bag and pulled it out. And y'all, it was a pair of panties. So I'm like, okay. Um, She pulled out four more pairs. So she pulled out one, and then she pulled out the other four. It was a five-pack of panties, bikini briefs, that she decided she didn't want after she wore each pair. So I said, well, ma'am, did you, ha have these been worn? And I'm thinking to myself, now, girl, now you know these damn things be worn. They smell like a damn skunk. I said, ma'am, have these been worn? Yes, they have. And after wearing them, I decided that they don't fit right and they're uncomfortable. So I'm like, hold on, sis. Hold on, sis. Actually, I didn't say this to her, but I'm thinking to myself, I can see you wearing one pair and deciding that they don't fit. You don't like them. But since you tried on each pair and decided you didn't want them, like, since they the same damn panties, why did you try on all five pairs? This is what I'm thinking to myself, and I really wanted to say it, but y'all know, customer service, the customer's always right. So I said, well, ma'am, um, I, I have to call my manager because it appears that you've worn these and, and you've worn all pairs of the panties. So I would need to talk to my manager to see if we can return them. She said, well, I got them for a gift and I don't want them and I don't like them and I want you to return them. I want my money back. And I said, well, ma'am, okay. I understand, ma'am. But again, I don't make the decisions here. I need to talk to management. When I tell you this woman caused a damn scene about some panties that she's worn and I'm sitting up here like, hold up, sis, hold up. Since you've worn each one of these panties, you mean to tell me after wearing each and every pair you decided then you don't want them anymore? 
Y'all, she even had the nerve to have the packaging, the panties came in. She had that in the package, too. I guess she felt like we needed the barcode. So I said, ma'am, I'm going to need you to step aside. I, I understand you're frustrated, but I need you to calm down for me so I can get management so we, I can see the proper protocol. So I go over to the side, far side, and calls the manager on the phone and explain to him what was going on. I said, I have a customer here who wants to return some panties. He said, okay, what's the problem? Well, they smell like a damn billy goat, the bag that they come in, okay? And she's worn each and every pair. He's like, she's already worn them? Yes, every pair. And now she wants to return them. So he was like, well, I'll be down there in a minute. And I'm thinking to myself, be down here for what? I just said, that, A, they smell like a, the bag smell like a billy goat. Two, she's worn every pair. What do you need to come see? I said, oh, Lord, we got a freak of the industry up in here. So finally he comes over. She He walks up to the counter and he said, uh, who's the customer? Because it, it was a bunch of people up there. And all the customers that were standing behind her was looking at her like, Sis, your nasty ass gonna bring some panties back to the store that you've already worn? So I pointed to the woman. I said, she's right over there. He walks up to her. He said, ma'am, how can I help you? I'm trying to return these panties and she's giving me a problem. And he's he was like, well, what's the problem? She's First of all, she didn't even want to take them out the bag. And now she's acting like they can't be returned because I've worn them. And although, yes, I have worn them, but I can't fit them. And although I have worn them, I decided that I don't like them. So I was like, I'm sitting there like, lady, you are causing a scene about some panties you've already worn. I'm thinking to myself, since you could at least wash the damn panties. Like, you could at least did that. Needless to say, y'all, the manager said, return them. And I said, okay, and what would be the reason? Because, you know, there's a code that we have to put in for the reason. He said, just put them as damaged. I said, damaged, you damn right they're damaged. She damaged. I'm thinking to myself, sis, you need to go over there to that aisle for the health and beauty and get you some uh, monostat or something. Because something ain't right over there with sis. But... I did return the panties to the woman, obviously, because the manager asked me to. And, and for the life of me, you guys, I just couldn't understand how this woman felt like that she could return something that she clearly has worn each and every pair. Like I said, if she had worn one pair, I don't, I, y'all, to be quite honest with you, I've never done that. I've never, especially something like that. Now, I've worn, I've tried on a shirt, like bought a shirt in the store. Get home, try it on, decide I don't want it, it doesn't look right. I take it back. I have the receipt, the tags are still on it, everything. Y'all, I've never returned worn panties. I've never even returned panties, okay? Because I do know what size my butt is, so and I know what type of style of panties that I like, so I don't have no reason to return them. But I see now why Walmart implemented the policy, return policy, because y'all people were returning every and anything. I, I gave the woman her refund. Honey, I took that bag and put it in the return bin. And once I thought about it, y'all, I took it out the return bin and I threw them damn things away because I didn't want anybody other than myself to have to be going through what I went through when I opened up that bag. Baby, when I tell y'all I opened up that bag like this here, y'all that, oh, it just hit me all in my face. I was like, my God, y'all, it was horrible. But then I say, girl, you got the nerve to me. And it was cold, y'all. It was wintertime, so it was cold. And I'm like, the coldness couldn't even take that smell down. And all I was like, it's like customer service is a hell of a job. So that's why I said shout out to my cashiers and customer service that's working in retail. Y'all are truly the MVPs because people will return any and everything. I even, when I worked there, I even had a guy who returned a battery. Y'all, that you could tell that was probably at least five years old. It had so much corrosion on it. And he said, it doesn't work anymore. I said, well, I guess so. 
Uh, hell, it's got corrosion all on it. Of course it doesn't work. But that's, I, I really feel like that's the reason Walmart has changed their return policy. Because y'all, they was bringing any and everything back. It was, it was, we even had returns of stuff that was bought at another store. We had stuff that, that holiday when I worked there, you guys, we had people that bought stuff at Kmart. Um, and we was returning it back to Walmart. Like, like I said, you guys, this was a long time ago, very long time ago, well over 10 years ago. But Walmart has really straightened up their policy. Now, you, you barely can return something that, like, you could buy something in Walmart and go to the parking lot and get in your car and realize you don't want it and take it right back in the store. And the cashier remember you, you said she just saw you and they will give you problems about returning it. But I understand now, but. Y'all, that was nasty as hell. Like I said, I've never done that. I don't understand why that woman felt comfortable enough to bring her used panties to the Walmart to return them. And I feel like she did that. Y'all, I mean, personally, I think like that. I think that woman had them panties for a very long time. But you guys let me know if any of you guys have experienced that. Or let me know, have y'all took some used panties back to the store? Oh, sister, you know what? Never mind, sis. Don't even tell me that. But we definitely will talk about it down below. Thank you guys so much for listening to my story time. Let me know if you guys had a similar experience. And I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Remember you guys. Sub what you love. Bye-bye.